muscles. Oh. Or you guys I stole did. it, waited for a while, right. last night dumped it, then called us to make sure it's off. That's like it, that. yeah. All right. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another brand new video of Depths of History. Nothing can happen for me. This is something buried here. Is it a shell? Conch shell? We can find anything. God bless you. I hope you find it. It's been an amazing experience so far with Adventures with Purpose and many other friends that we have here. This is a knife. Definitely gonna get the license plate off and we're gonna notify the authorities. Nothing can hide from me. So important that this movement continues to grow. I really appreciate you being a part of it. In the depths of history. Today we made it all the way out to Port Orange, Florida, and we came across a local who this morning gave us several locations to search, including this dock behind me. Could hold evidence to a potential homicide case. A suicide is now being called a homicide. Dive teams searched for clues in the death of 69-year-old Bernard Morton this week. They're really looking for anything that will help with this investigation. There was a phone that was actually lost in this particular location that scuba divers were looking for that had all all the clues to a homicide investigation that could convict somebody if found. Jeremy's gonna go into more info about this case. Let's get over to the docks, get the magnets out, and potentially we could find some really cool stuff here. Two bodies were suspected of being dumped off this bridge, but they never found the bodies. It's not surprising. There's probably lots of big creatures in this river. There's a chance we could find remains and cell phones, car keys, wallets, purses, anything that might have fallen out of their pockets. It's possible we could snag it today. It's eerily dark. Like this, this water is not what I'm used to. It's the it's water. It's swimming in coffee. Yeah. But if it comes down to it, you'll dive it. <laughs> so, and I'll root you on. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm probably gonna magnet fish. That the person who they convicted that threw the bodies off of this bridge. So they went over to his house. They found DNA evidence. There was blood everywhere. He had blood on his clothes. And he still to this day is saying, I don't know what happened. I don't know where the bodies are. And is, uh, oh, yeah, we can't tell you. <laughs> yeah, of course. You know, I'm but, innocent. Uh, he's 98% sure he told me that they threw them off of this bridge. So Possible. if that's the case, who Very knows well. what we could find at this boat ramp, magnet oh, fishing. I got a hook and anywhere. sonar and magnets. I think, uh, you know, we can find anything here. Seems like a good spot, if any. Known activity here. So we're, there's, we know there's stuff out here. It's just if we can find it. Look at all this fruit. Look, dude, there's all this right here. Look, oh, it's a, it's religious offering. Look, there's coins. Look, all these fruits and all these coins. Somebody has, find a nicer case. Maybe I can put my machete. St. John's River Ship. Very cool. Look at that on the back, how it's powering it. That is, that's crazy. Bunch of nails, some shells, nails some rebar. And and nails and shells. We're trying, oh God, it's all dirty. I hope I still have whatever this is. A spark, spark plug. plug. <laughs> How could you tell you got that? <laughs> I don't know, I felt it like hit the magnet. All right, I'm pulling this up really slowly. What the heck is that? We got a washer. Oh my gosh, look at that railroad spike. <sighs> oh, it, oh, it's got a string on it. So they were trying to weigh something down. Oh man, I got something else now. Oh, I got a knife too. Yeah, I do. There's a pocket knife. It's an old one. Man, that's cool. So a pocket knife and a flashlight and one cast. All right, those of you about to hate on me in the comments for not having gloves, just got some gloves. And we're about to see if we can find anything with this grappling hook. If you'd like to get any of these items, they're gonna be online. I absolutely love this grappling hook, mainly because, I mean, it'll catch anything you throw at it. Let's throw this in and see if we can find anything. Cause I think there is something right here that I might try to pull. She's <laughs> <laughs> got some sort of chain. Got some jewelry. 
kind of neat. Obviously, it's not real if it sticks to a magnet. Still, that's kind of cool. Look how easy that sticks on, man. But you can see the magnetic force. All right, so now I'm bringing the magnet and the hook up to this bridge right here. Pretty sure there's people fishing on it, so probably not gonna be too happy with me, but oh well, we'll figure it out. Sorry? Oh, we're just doing magnet fishing, trying to see if there's any oh, really? old stuff under the water. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't know anybody <laughs> down there. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, he hit something with the is. magnet. I don't know, but we might need to get the sonar. There's either a car or a boat down there. Look at all that oil coming out, man. Are you hitting something with your magnet? I don't think so. All right, dude. Oh. You got it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What is it? Wait, wait, you gotta step on this thing. What is it? I don't yeah. know. <laughs> we got it. We got it? Help me, dude. Oh, dude, it's a, wait, it's a, it's a motorcycle. Is it really? Jeremy! <gasps> Jeremy! 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 Oh my God, we got a motorcycle. <laughs> it might be a moped. <laughs> <laughs> you sort of, you sort of hold yeah. handle. Yep, handles everything. Handlebars. We'll have to call the police. See yeah, we'll cool. probably have to call the police. Check that out. Look, the motorcycle's right there, all tied up. Adam's right here. And then we got Jeremy coming with the boat. What you guys get into? We found a motorcycle. Or mo moped, yeah. Go, come on. <laughs> oh, dude, you gotta pull it up, man. Pull it up while I'm dragging it. It's stuck, man, it's not gonna pull. <sighs> this is awesome. No sonar needed. <sighs> oh. Pull it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It is. It's funny, it's been there a long time. Yeah, this is like, we've seen this before, honestly. It's like your typical chop they, shop. They chop it up and they get rid of the parts they don't want. Check with you. The VIN is on it's there. Really it's good. fully legible. Tomahawk or something? Look at that. Complete VIN number right there. Might solve and see if it's stolen or not. Stolen, they ripped those off. It off. Yeah. yeah, I'm yeah. surprised they didn't scratch it off either. But yeah, full VIN number, so we can probably notify the police and see if it's stolen or at least read the number. See if they... It looks like a street bike, doesn't it? Yeah, like yeah, my Suzuki bike. or something. Yeah, the Yamaha or something. GS, GS, uh, I have a GS 750 Suzuki, son. It's a really, that's a really nice bike either way. It used to be, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, y'all be safe. Awesome, Appreciate man, it. thanks. All right, so the police have been notified. They're on their way out here. I basically told them that I was underneath this bridge. Our police line is being recorded, Christian. I was recently magnet fishing over at the Lake Monroe Wayside Park uh, boat ramp, mm -hmm. like right, right on the bridge, like where people fish. And I found a, uh, uh, some sort of motorcycle frame. It's just the frame. It's pretty rusted up, but it does have a full VIN number on it that's legible. I didn't know if that's something you guys would want to run or if like you wanted to send yeah, an officer. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We can come on and take a look at it. Are, are you still over by the bridge? So they're going to head over here and they're going to run the VIN number off of this motorcycle. Pick on the police. He flashed his lights so he knew I was saying hello. How's it going, officer? Hi. Found a motorcycle frame underneath that bridge over there, and it's still got all the VIN number and everything. But I told him it was rusted. I didn't know if they needed to send an officer out or not, but. Yeah. Or you guys I stole did. it, waited for a while, last right. night dumped it, then called us to make sure it's off. That's like it, that. yeah. All right. <laughs> it looks like it's been under there for a long time. I'm surprised though. Like it's a busy morning, so that's why it took so long to get here. Oh, no, you're oh no, you're really fast. That's like com compared to Georgia, like we're from Georgia, so like compared to Georgia, you guys show up like really quick. <laughs> we're used to waiting like two, three hours. <laughs> yeah, this morning we had a guy who was um with his partner, and they were robbing 7-Elevens. 
Really? And going up the line. And they had, wow. They had three. Over on the tr over on the bridge or down here? Uh, down here below. Pull into the parking lot. Stop milling around. And then I see the clerk. She comes out. She's scared. I'm looking at her. What's going on? She's, she said, "So I don't know. I've just been robbed." With a gun. Oh Whoa. my! Oh my gosh! And uh, got the description. Called my sergeant, who happened to be at the store right there on Orange. I said, "Silver truck coming to you. Silver truck coming to you." He's all, "Hold on. I got a silver truck pulling in." Oh, oh man! Yeah. So that's wow. cool. That worked out. So you guys caught him? Um. Yeah. 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 That was, a, that was a win for us today. I was glad that there were some witnesses that wanted to come up and talk to us because, I mean, that might have saved my sergeant's life. That's the truth. Oh, yeah. Because he would have walked right into it. This is like a 1,200-pound <laughs> uh, centurion magnet. Okay. And you can lift, like, really heavy things with it, so we just throw them off bridges. We throw them off bridges That's with the rope. Cool. <laughs> yeah. so probably find guns. Guns? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Turn yeah. them into the police, too. and. Cool. And and jewelry, jewelry and Sometimes it cool. didn't stick as much we found like, some ATMs like, metal, like yeah. and uh, got those back to the owner they had jewelry in them and stuff wow and it's crazy. crazy we all have YouTube channels so <laughs> don't it's just like your hobby kind of thing uh, it's our full time job actually <laughs> alright <laughs> on so, yeah. you get paid, so you do make some money off of yeah, it yeah awesome. <laughs> and it kind of funds goes back into us traveling and we actually, we were a part of the Lakeland case that just got solved, uh, the woman underwater in the pond. Uh, the um, oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, I don't watch a lot of news anymore for a variety <laughs> of reasons, but yeah, I did hear about it. We were up there, so we're making our way south. We're trying to solve some missing persons cases, but today we took a day off. This is our day off. It's just magnet fishing. <laughs> <laughs> right on. <laughs> Usually we got boats in the water and we're using sonar to locate the cars and for anything that we can. So things we try and pride ourselves on here in Seminole County is We've been doing community policing since I've been here, which is almost 27 years now. And it's awesome. It's that relationship we try and build with the community, which has a lot of the people coming up to us. That's great. And wanting to talk to us. That's awesome. We never would have solved that. And that's, like a, that's amazing to see because, you know, a lot of people, some, some people are scared of law enforcement yeah. and, and in a way. And, and some of them rightfully so, for what course. has happened over the years. Yeah. Let me go back to my car. Uh, I'll run this and I'll be right back and let you guys okay, know. Awesome. Thank you so much. Cheers. Well, good news, bad news. Good news, bad news. Uh-oh. Good news, Ben. What's sexy about the bike? That bike's probably been here since 2005. Oh, wow. It okay. shows on the expiration tag. It was 2005, the last time it was renewed. So okay, gotcha. I don't know how fresh water works with coral and all that, but the, the debris and the calcification. Of course. I mean, you're right. I think it probably could have been there that long. But someone out of Deltona, so nothing That's nefarious, nothing pops up with, okay. like, attached missing person or anything. Okay. So what will happen is I don't want to throw a uh, yeah, we can take driver. It. We'll, we'll take it. Okay, yeah, you're going to do it? We can drag it. Yeah, we yeah, can, yeah. 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 Okay. Can we like set it on the trash can over there? Well, that's what I was gonna actually do. But if you guys would, no, we'll do it. Yeah, yeah. of course we can. Got it. We got it. Of course. Yeah. So no problem. Otherwise, we gotta call record driver out, and it's his day off, and I want to do that. Um, so that's my Sweet. name. I'm Steven. Awesome. Hey, this is the event number for you yes. to track, just to add okay. to your awesome. list of successes, and just if you need that or whatever, <laughs> and go to downtown Sanford and check out how it is fantastic now compared to what it used to be 20 years ago. Okay, okay. Awesome. Lots of clubs and lots of um, bars and breweries and awesome. good food and reasonably priced. Are you, are you not a sergeant? No, nope, you, should, you should be. You should be, man. <laughs> like seriously, you, I'm actually, you, I'm actually yeah. learning to test for it coming up. So we'll you see. Seriously, you seriously, yeah. you should be. You, you'd be a really good sergeant. Seriously, really, um, really appreciate your uh, professionalism. What else? I mean, 27 years ago when I started, it's two lane roads, pastures. Really? Wow. I mean, backup was six, seven minutes away. Mm -hmm. uh, so there was always places where people would dump stuff left and right. Appreciate the tips. Yeah, yeah seriously. I mean, I mean, this is this is amazing. I got much else. It was awesome. <laughs> hey, seriously. Cheers. Pleasure meeting hey, you. Cheers. Again, yeah. Great meeting you, you too. Thank, Thank you. you. So guys, that was really surprising. He came out and was very professional. Shout out to Seminole Police Department. You guys definitely do know how to treat the public and they said they want to have a relationship with the public. It's just super kind, super nice, and that's the way it should be. So. Thank you so much, Seminole Police Department. You guys, huge thumbs up. All right, so walking underneath this bridge, I do think that what I found right there with all the oranges and flowers and stuff like that was part of some sort of like religious offering or something like that. But if you guys have any ideas, let me know down in the comments below. It was a great day. We were able to do some magnet fishing, found some really cool stuff at the dock. We originally started our search here from a man that we met in the parking lot of Cracker Barrel. He basically told us about this location. He said, I know what you guys do. I know Know that's your cars and we definitely want you guys to come over here and check out the spot so we did we came to the spot 
but we found a motorcycle, called the police, it had all the VIN numbers on it and everything, and now we are going to trash it, uh, take it to that recycling place that the officer told us to go to. But if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to press that like button and subscribe if you're new. Also press that bell for post notifications. But with that said, we will see you guys on the next video. Ain't that right, Adam? That's right. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs>